Well, welcome back. I'm joined now by Dr. Paul Arciaro of Skidmore College for a look at health. Hiya, Paul. Nice to be here, Jesse. You know, I have to remember to call you Dr. Paul Arciaro. <laughs> this is hard for me. You understand this, right? <laughs> Why is that? I don't know. All right. But at any rate, given well. the amount of snow out there and the time of the year, New Year's resolution time, get better, feel healthier, right? A lot of it going on. That's right. A lot of it. And a lot of people wanting to adhere to those resolutions that they made a couple months ago. Well, you know, you said to me well, before we went on air tonight, uh, you were telling me that 60% <coughs> of people make resolutions, 85% of those have to do with health and well-being. That's correct. I mean, that's impressive. Right. I mean, so it's on everybody's mind. And mm -hmm. to me, that sends a real positive message that people have a priority in their own life, their own right. personal health, uh, to get healthier. Unfortunately, only 8% succeed at fulfilling that New Year's resolution. Why do you think they fail like that at, at that kind of rate? Yeah, uh, lots of different variables, but I'd say the number one reason is because of the current toxic environment that so many people refer to. You know, we have an abundance of cheap, accessible, unhealthy food. Yeah, that's and, right. And compound that with a fairly high level of physical inactivity, mm -hmm. um, that's why people struggle. So this, uh, this food that we're talking about, quote unquote, uh, the calorie content of food like that is higher, right? So does that affect it? It does, and that's a great point. So the latest data shows that since 1970, food intake in terms of calories has increased about 250 calories a day. Mm -hmm. So you compound this higher intake of simple, cheap, unhealthy food, mostly mm -hmm. carbohydrate, by the way, right. with a lower level of physical activity. It's no wonder that we have this increased rate of obesity. So... People have the right intentions. Yeah. What's the path they take? Is it only about eating? Is it about exercise? Break that down for us. Yeah, so, so the path that a lot of people take is um, unfortunately a little bit too high attaining for them. So they, they complicate oh, right. the New Year's resolution. They make it a little bit too complicated. They invest too much time and money sometimes. So the, the cost associated with these New Year's resolutions oftentimes sets them up for failure. So mm -hmm. if we take all that together, it's no wonder that they, they're not succeeding. So my message is to people is to make it simple. I mean, take, take a, a New Year's resolution for your health and break it down into one simple strategy a day that you can fulfill. Maybe it's something as simple as saying, you know what, I'm going to wake up and eat breakfast every single morning. Mm -hmm. Making sure that it's a high quality, nutrient dense, right. whole grain, carbohydrate and healthy protein. You know, they always said, my mother always used to say that you know, breakfast was the most important meal. It sets a pace for the day. And, uh, and that doesn't mean pancakes and sausage, by the way, right? Right. right. I mean, yes, I, and your, your mom or your grandmother was, was yeah. wise beyond years, for sure, because there's a saying, breakfast like a king, mm -hmm. lunch like a prince, mm -hmm. and dinner like a pauper. Mm -hmm. And so what we want to do is we want to front load more of our day with these healthy nutrients mm -hmm. so that by the end of the day, we don't have that starvation invading us where mm -hmm. everything looks edible. Well, you know, then that leads to something else because you were saying that exercise is also part of a good plan. Yeah, that's great. I'm glad you brought that up. So nutrition is, is a priority number one. Right. Next would be exercise. And it's a whole combination of different types of exercise. We want to make sure that we engage in resistance exercise to help our bones and our muscles stay strong. We want to uh, in engage in some intense exercise, interval type exercise, mm -hmm. because that's the best for our heart and our metabolism. Mm -hmm. And then we want to do some stretching, mobility exercises so that we can go out and we can award against falling mm -hmm. um, so that we have the balance that we need and the flexibility. And then the last type of exercise is endurance exercise. And that's the best type for our mood. Mm -hmm. And of course, that bleeds right into the number three health strategy that we should be paying attention to, and that's stress management. Wow. Well, well, I can add a few. <laughs> you want a few comments on stress, do you? Yeah. Um, when you say something like stress management, exercise you understand, right? Yeah. Food you understand. Stress, it's kind of amorphic. I mean, like, w w what contributes to stress or how do you deal with stress in a meaningful way that trying to deal with it doesn't add more stress to your life? <laughs> and we all perceive it different, right? I mean, so what you've just commented on is exactly what people struggle with every day is that one person's stress is one person's distress mm -hmm. you know and there's two, di two types of stress you know that which causes harm to the body and that which actually can generate some energy and movement and productivity from all of us so mm -hmm. you know that balancing act is really difficult but you know there's simple ways that you can incorporate stress management techniques it's as simple as taking a little bit of time for yourself I call it a body visit 
So mm -hmm. instead of always running to the doctor to get a visit, mm -hmm. to have them look you over, no one knows you better than yourself. Mm -hmm. And so I always tell people, take some time every day, five, 10, 15 minutes if you can, at the beginning of the day, middle or end, whichever is most convenient, and just check in. Tune into yourself mm -hmm. so that you can tune out to the rest of the world. And that really helps center, harmonize, and mm -hmm. balance our overall being. So I guess our viewers should uh, recognize that it's got to do with nutrition, has to do with exercise, mm -hmm. and mental well-being. Excellent. Right. Well, I really look forward to delving more into this each week, and we'll set up a little plan for you-know-who and see if I can stick with it as well. <laughs> and, you should do, and you should do likewise. Uh, Dr. Paul is going to be with us every week now, right? Excellent. Contributing, yeah. talking to us about health issues. And please, to see this interview again, head to our website, looktvonline.com.